hello welcome to my channel i am alina and in today's video we're going to learn how to make this uh, necklace which is a combination of leather stitch and netting it will be the base of the necklace we're going to use six millimeter fire polish if you think a video with these specific stitches or any beading stitches uh, will be helpful to you please let me know here we're going to add four millimeter fire polish to two rounds and we're going to add also on the bottom of the necklace i think it's a very elegant uh, design <laughs> you know me i like elegant design so let's get started let's review the materials you're not going to need a lot this week like usual so beading uh, thread fire line 6lb crystal or any beading thread uh, of your choice uh, fire polish six millimeter i'm using sapphire color then you're going to need some four millimeter fire polish toho 11 ohm seed beads you need around 20 22 grams a beading needle and a clasp of your choice i chose a simple one a lobster clasp type so i prepared the material we need for the first part of the necklace which is going to be six millimeter fire polish and 11 otoho seed beads i already thread around 100 centimeter or 40 inches with fire line uh, i think you can uh, thread more since the thread is anti-frail it's not frailing so easy uh, this is one of the reason i love uh, working with fire line you're also going to leave um, a tail uh, maybe 30 centimeter uh, or 12 uh, inches i think it's enough to work with it later pick up a fire polish six millimeter and seven toho one two two three four five six seven this is the result going down and don't forget to leave the tail that we talk about okay then i'm going back through the fire polish i just added just like this let's see you end up with something like this then you're going to pick up seven more one two three four five six seven my thread is exiting on the upper side of this fire polish i'm going down like this and it's looking something like this let me zoom maybe it's better so now we're going to make the ladder stitch so i want to pass to this three seed beads in the middle so there are two here and two on the bottom and three so i want to go down to all these three let's see i will flip my work and just pass through if you count they are five five seed beads three and two more like this let's see what we have now so we exit this three seed beads now we're going to add three more one two and three and we are going on the opposite direction of this tree right in the middle seed beads just like this let me see like this three and pull what it does it's add like a ladder on this side now i'm going back through the same three i just add just like this and i will add three more one two 
and three going down like this. Now we want to go back through this one we just had now. Okay, let me see if I can make it just like this. Okay. And now we're going to add another fire polish. Now you remember when we put the first fire polish, we add seven beads. But now we don't need to add seven because we already have three here. So we need to put two fire two toho one fire polish six millimeter and another oh well, this is not good another two toho just like this yeah i'm exiting on this side i will go i will pass my bit up through this we just pick up four with three we have our seven beads that we need to make this side of the um, fire polish now we're going to go through this toho like this and back through this and now we're going to add seven more one two three four five six seven so i'm exiting like this i'm going down just like this now we're going to position ourselves again on this three seed beads on this side so pass through this two let me show you Okay, like this. Okay, and then through the next three. So basically you pass through five beads. I'm trying to not uh, flip it so you see better. But um, you can flip the work so it's easier for you to go through all these beads. I'm trying to make it as clear as possible okay now we're going to make our ladder so pick up three toho i'm exiting down here i'm going through the first three toho on this side let me see if i can make it i think i will just flip it better just like this there you have it now go back through this one just like this pick up three more one two and three going through the same beads by the way i wanted to ask if you want me to do more um, tutorials uh regarding uh, basic stitches in uh, beading please let me know for example how to do the ladder stitch how to do the right angle weave stitch and many more it will be uh, fun to create them so now pick up because we have three we need only four pick up two toho one fire polish two toho and go back through this bead so this is the base of our necklace it's a repetitive uh, design and it's easy i think it's very easy plus you can uh, maybe you can try to put a pearl i didn't try maybe you can put a six millimeter pearl in the middle <laughs> now pick up six seven sorry seven toho two three 
four, five, six, seven, and go back through the fire polish. And now you are going to exit here and do these three ladder stitches again. So, so to make around the 19 and a half inches uh, uh, necklace or around 50 in centimeter, in around you need to add around 43 fire inches, polish, the 6 millimeter uh, fire polish. Or around so keep that in mind. If you, you want to, to this 43 uh, make so it shorter, add less fire polish. Fire so polish. make the whole this base and meet you right back here. Inches, Welcome back. So I made around uh, 32 fire polish. I measure it and it's about uh, 47.5 centimeter or almost 19 inches. Um, I know I told you if you put uh, 43 um, fire polish, you'll end up with 19 inches, but that's because the necklace will curve now. So just keep that in mind. So now I wanted to make it shorter. I just put 32 fire polish. So my thread, let me zoom in. My thread is exit. I just uh, complete this row and I, I add the seven um, uh, seed beads. I'm exiting like this. I will go back through all seven that I just add now. So not five, like until now all seven like that you will end up with something like this and now we're going to do something that will make the necklace curve let me zoom out a little bit so we're going to put two uh toho in between each this component and in between two fire polish we will add the four millimeter let me just put we will add the four millimeter fire polish i have it right here i will put it on the beading mat so start by picking up two 11 ohms just like this i'm going through the next seed bead let me show you closer so i'm exiting this one and I will go through the next one, just like this. Basically, we want to cover the, the gap between these two seed beads. So two, it's uh, the perfect amount. Don't over pull. Now we completed this. Now we're going to add four millimeter bicon. So pick up an 11 -0, a four millimeter bicon, a fire polish, sorry, and an 11 -0 just like this and I'm going through the next seed bead if you don't know which one is it it's actually the seventh one from up let me zoom in so if you count from up it's seven the seven one and pull just like this now pick up two 11 0 go through the next one, the next seed bead, just like this. And this is it. Then you're going to repeat these steps over and over again. So pick up an 11 0 a four millimeter fire polish, and an 11 0 go through this seed bead here the seven one from up if you count just like this pull now pick up two more two 11 0s go through the next one like this i hope it's working okay my needle is very stubborn today let's see oops oh 
Okay. There you have it. Just like this. Okay, so uh, keep doing this until uh, you reach the other side of the necklace and meet you right back. So I'm almost done. I want to attach the last uh, two with you. But before that, I want to show you something. Don't uh, make it too, too tight because we don't want this to overlap like here. So keep it loose. Not very loose so that you can see the thread, but loose enough so this uh, in between they don't stuck between each other. So let's finish the last two sequins together. So I am here. I'm going to finish now picking up an 11 ohm, a fire polish 4 millimeter, an 11 ohm. I will go through this seed bead, pick up an 11 ohm, go through the next one, an 11 ohm, a 4 millimeter fire polish and an 11 ohm, going through this seed bead and another 11 ohm going just like this so now we finish all this we're going to go through the other side again um it's easier than it looks what i can say so we have to exit the seed bit right before the one that the fire polish is attached let me show you so the four millimeter is attached to this seed bit so we have to exit the one right before this one Okay, so let's see, going through all the beads again. Just like this. This is the seed bead I was talking about, just the one before the one we attached the fire polish. So there you have it. So now we're going to pick up seven eleven o's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to go through the middle seed bead. Let me show you. So we have the one that we attach the fire polish on this side and the one we attach on the other side. So we are going through the, this two actually, this two in the middle okay now we're going to pick up seven more one two three four five six seven just like this and we are going to this two seed beads in the middle so this is the one we attach this fire polish this is the other one it's just this two in the middle just like this and pull and you keep doing this until the other side make sure you you don't over pull so i will meet you right back so i add the embellishments down i just want to mention one thing all the time i try to stretch it like this so it's not too too curvy so we have two more to add we will add it together Make sure to not mix the tails. So we're going to pick up a 7 uh, 11 oh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm going through this. Let me zoom. I'm going through this two seed beads right here, the one in the middle. Pick up seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and exiting this two seed beads right here. 
So now we finish this side. We want to go again to the other side and repeat the process. So I want to position myself right before the seed bead that we attach the um, four millimeter fire polish. I think they are nine in total from where you exit your thread now. Let's see. Go through this, then go through the other ones. Okay, like this. And let's see. Let me check again. Okay, it looks like we need to go through one more. So let's count. I think they are nine. One, two. Yeah, they are nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, just go through this one. Right to the one in front of the seed bead, we attach the fire polish, just like this. So now we're going to flip it, we position ourselves, and we're going to repeat the same process again. So we're going to pick up again seven eleven o's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going through the seed bead in the middle. So there is, I don't think there are two, only one this time. Yes, on the other side were two. So one, 11 oh, just like this, the one in the middle. Make sure all the time to stretch the necklace and don't uh, over pull, just like this. Pick up seven more, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm exiting this seat beads. I'm going in the middle of the next unit, just like this. There you have it. Pull, arrange it, make sure it's uh, not overlapping the fire polish, just like this. And keep doing this until uh, you reach the other side. Let's do one more together. Uh, as I told you, it's a repetitive process. Maybe a little boring for some of you, <laughs> uh, but it's relaxing. I like doing repetitive uh, steps. Okay and keep doing this until the end so we reach the last sequence I'm going to pick up 7 11 0 4 5 6 7 I'm exiting this seed bead I'm going through this one in the middle just like this and now we're going to attach the clasp. So in order to do this, we're going through these three seed beads in the middle. Just these three. Let me show you. One second. Going through these two first. And then this three, just like this. Now we're going to pick up five eleven nodes. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to pick up the clasp. And pick up five more eleven nodes. Three, four, five. And we're going back to the same three seed beads on the opposite direction, just like this. Now we're going to reinforce. You can reinforce once or twice. Of course, you can add a crystal. But uh, today I decided to keep it uh, simple like this. Go through these seed beads. 
and back through the same three eleven all from this side. So now we finish this part. We're going to go back here and embellish this side of uh, the necklace. Let me show you. So we're going through all these seed beads and on the fourth one here we're going to add three more 11 holes. So let's see. Forget about this one from up, we'll arrange them later. So this is the seed bead we attach this seven uh, seed beads, seven 11 holes. So let's go with our thread. Just like this. And now we're going to count four. On the fourth one, we're going to attach more 11 holes. Watch your thread to not get tangled. And now you're going to pick up three more seed beads and we're going to go through the same 11 we just exit on the opposite direction just like this it's good to reinforce this one more time you can do this uh, it's better and then we're going to position ourselves on the other side of this loop so let me show you, go through this seed beads, like this, again through this one, and from this four more, the first four eleven holes like this just like this and you're going to pick up three more toho and go through the same 11 or you just exit and keep doing this until the end of the necklace and meet you right back Welcome back. So let me show you what we did. We finished adding all this um, picot here. Uh, I reinforced, I go through all of them one more time. So now I want you to go ignore this thread. We will add the um, class. So I exit this one. Yeah, remember when you put the seven, I exit this. After this, you have to count eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight so you are right here now so exit here let me zoom out a little bit so now you're going to pick up four toho one two three four a fire polish four millimeter and another toho this is the sequence you need and you're going to go through these three seed beads here I will zoom again. You see these three um, in the middle. One, two, three. Sorry for my camera. So let's see. One, two, three. Like this. Okay. Pull. Because here we didn't have a crystal. Now pick up a toho. Um fire polish and the toho and you're going to go back through the next three here in the middle one two three if it's easy you can see there are two on one side and two on the other so you go through the three in the middle so one two on one side i'm going through the next three like this okay don't over pull pull tight just like this let's add another one i will zoom out now okay let's see one 
toho, one fire polish, one toho. Okay, I will go through the next three here. Leave this two, then one, two, three, right here in the middle. One, two, three. There you have it. Okay, so keep doing this until the end and I will meet you right back. Okay, welcome back. So I added all the other crystal on the edge which curved the necklace even more and it looks amazing. So now we now we want to add this one that's right here. Let's see, let's zoom a little bit. So you're going to pick up one, one fire polish and three toho just like this and now let's see what you have to exit counting from this bead that we attach this loop you need eight so one two three four five six seven eight but instead of going like this i will go on the opposite direction because the thread must be like this and you will go you're going to pull and this situated our last crystal right here what we have to do now is to position uh, ourselves on this uh, seed bead right next to the four millimeter fire polish so we're going to wave our thread there go through this 11 now then through the next two 11 holes. And finally, through the toho we want to reach. Watch out for your thread to not get tangled like mine did now. Now we're going to pick up two 11 holes. And we're going to go through this toho 4 millimeter fire polish and the next toho that follows it just like this this will help us uh, curve the necklace a little bit more and gives more structure so pick up two eleven hours let me zoom so you can see better we're going through this 11 now fire polish 11 now just like this As you can see, it's curving even more. Pick up to 11 now and go through this Toho fire polish and Toho like this. Don't over pull. So keep doing this until the end and meet you right back welcome back let's add the last components together pick up to 11 holes go through this 11 hole fire polish 11 hole like this pick up to 11 holes and go through the fire 11 hole fire polish 11 hole just like this And now we're going to add the other side of the clasp, but we're going to use uh, the tail of the thread. So I switch my needle to the other side of the thread, to the tail. So now we're going to try to exit on one of these um, seed beads here. Because we want to position ourselves on these three 11 holes that are on one side, just like we did to the other side of the clasp so go through this three eleven now and one more just like this pick up five eleven holes four 
and five and put your clasp then pick up five more one two three four five and my thread is exiting here I will go through the other side of these three eleven holes just like this Of course, you're going to reinforce all this again. And once or twice, and there you have it. We finally finished the project. Yay! I think it took longer than I was expected. Uh, I hope it was not so uh, hard um, and difficult to follow the instructions. I think the result uh, is amazing. It's an elegant uh, design. I love it. So see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.